Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in again with Bedtime Stories with Georgie. Um, so I have my lovely bedtime teddies and we're ready for our story. I'm wearing a tiara tonight um, and you most probably relate that to princesses or ballerinas and today's story well tonight's story it's called little ballet star and it's written by adele garris and sheila nicholas so get cozy and i will read the story to you Little Ballet Star by Adele Garris and Sheila McNicholas and You can see the beautiful ballerinas in their tutus and their ballet shoes, their point shoes To everyone who likes the ballet, for mum and dad, little ballet star. I'm so excited I could burst. Today is my birthday and I'm going to the, the theatre to see a ballet from the fairy tale The Sleeping Beauty. My auntie Gina is a ballerina and she's taking me backstage before the show as a special treat. Backstage, some of the dancers are pra practicing their steps. If you put on your ballet shoes, you can join in, says Auntie Gina. I love my ballet shoes. They make my feet feel sparkly. I do plies and my very best good toes, naughty toes. I twirl and spin, everyone claps. Auntie Gina takes me to the dressing room. Three pretty ballerinas are putting on makeup. One of them strokes some blusher on my cheeks. I look like a pink apple. Then we go up to the wardrobe department where the costumes are kept. Happy birthday Tilly, says Margie, the wardrobe mistress. Would you like to try this on? Ooh, lovely, I say. Yes, please. She helps me into a fairy costume. And I twirl in front of the mirror. Next we go downstairs. These are the wings where the dancers wait until it's time to go on stage, says Auntie Gina. I tip, tip, tiptoe in my pink shoes. The stage is so big and the lights are dazzle bright. They make me blink and feel hot. The scenery is huge, beautiful painting of Sleeping Beauty's fairy tale palace. It looks almost real. I can hear music coming from behind the curtains. 
I peep at the orchestra tuning their instruments making funny noises before they play the proper music. The rows of seats are filling up with people and I can see mum. Auntie Gina says, the ballet is about to start Tilly, you can sit with your mum to watch the show. Mum asks me if I've had a lovely time and I start to tell her about it, but then the lights go out. I'm so excited I can hardly breathe. Music fills the whole theatre and it feels like something magical is about to happen. Then the fairies run on the stage. They're wearing their pretty tutus. And there's Aunt Gina. Auntie Gina is the most important ballerina of all. She's Sleeping Beauty. Her headdress has pale lilac roses on it and her tutu glitters and sparkles. The music makes me want to dance too. Everyone claps when the ballet is finished, but I clap the loudest. I wish I could see it all over again. Then Auntie Gina steps through the closed curtains and c comes to the front of the stage. We have a birthday girl in the audience today, she says, and it just so happens that she's a little ballerina. Come up here, T Tilly darling. I'm going up there, up on stage. The curtains open again and Auntie Gina says, let's do a special birthday dance together. I've got butterflies in my tummy. Then the music starts and I'm dancing, twirling, flitting and floating. I want to shout. I'm dancing on a real stage. I'm dancing like a real ballerina. Then the orchestra plays happy birthday and I do my very best curtsy ever. Everyone claps and claps. I'm so happy I could jump. Auntie Gina gives me her headdress. A birthday present for you Tilly, she says. You're a wonderful ballerina. I give her a big hug and say, thank you, Auntie Gina. Dad's waiting for Mum and me outside the theatre. He picks me up and carries me all the way to the car. I'm very tired, I say as I close my eyes. You're our very own sleeping beauty, says Dad. I'm going to dream of the ballet tonight. I just know I am. The end. And that's tonight's story. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I personally love the ballet myself and I've always dreamed of being a ballerina when I was a little girl. And even though I'm a big girl now, I still dream of being a ballerina with my hands up like this. And dancing around with my little um, ballet shoes. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to Georgie's Toy Box.
and I hope that you have a lovely night and sweet dreams. Until next time, good night.